Today, I show you how to create a beautiful raster base map using just a single source file and the QGIS tools. This is what we are gonna obtain after following this short tutorial and let me show you how to obtain this. Okay, first of all, let's create a, a new group. Let's call it sample um, preference. Call it reference. Okay, perfect. Switch it off. And let's add a new DM here. Oh, it got, got added in the wrong one. Okay, perfect. We are here. This is this is actually a DTM with a 10 meter resolution, and it goes from the minimum, which is 70, <clears throat> 65, and the maximum, which is above 3,000 meters, eight. So it's the it's a part of the Veneto region which includes both the Guard Lake area and the Dolomites, the Alps in, of the Veneto region. So let me show you how to make it really beautiful. So let's start opening the layer properties, double click the TTM layer and go to the symbology um, tab and let's start with the hill shade okay if you select the render type hill shade you will obtain this show you how to tweak it in a few but with the default option you get this in, um, interpolation which is not really nice to see so let's tweak it a bit the altitude is the angle of the light source the azimuth is the azimuth of the light source we may set the azimuth to zero and click ok you will see it changes a bit just use whatever you want i like to set it to zero because it's from the north and also you may want to change something here to avoid resampling in the nearest neighbor mode so let's select bilinear and actually it works really better if you zoom in or zoom out the data okay now we have a beautiful hill shade but it's gray we want to add some color to this so the first thing to do is to duplicate this layer switch it, switch the old one off let's call it here shade so we know what we are doing and then open the copy properties and change the render type to single band pseudo color if you apply the this default you will see this for us it's not okay obviously let's but it actually uh, already set your settings here you may want to change a uh, color ramp maybe it's okay to use the CVDs for you but I don't really like that so let's make it uh, a new one let me remove all of that so okay Let's, let's select zero and let's uh, put a light a light color green here everything goes to this color after that i'll start making it a little mm. green but darker also I'll set the 1000 meter height 
here I want a, a darker color I always gray as you can see valets are dark are lighter than the other one now I want the two oops the 2000 meter A to be brown uh, we will tweak the colors after we have set the ramp As you can see now it is taking life the last one is the Grish 300 meter which is actually snow as you can see everything is colored now but we don't have reliefs so let me let me turn on the hill shade layer open its property go to symbology and change rendering mode to screen and then you will have a beautiful colored hill shade you can tweak things like changing gamma a bit if you want and it gets a bit darker so it's beautiful to see you may tweak color bending if you like to have a a different coloring maybe you want to highlight something but let me add a more um, a few more information here let's rename it to um, coloring okay now we have we want to generate a counter and we do this using the raster menu, the extraction menu, and the contour tool. The input layer will be hill shade, and the band number is one. The attribute is elevation, elev, which is actually um, the field of the raster, and the interval I set. Hmm, let me put 50 meters. You can set whatever you want in base based on what you are gonna uh, What do you want what you want to obtain? Let's produce 3d vectors hmm, Everything is okay. Let's click around. It will take a little bit of time but uh, hmm, it depends on the interval if you set a small interval it will take more time if instead um, you set a coarse one it will uh, be fa really faster so it is okay now if we if we zoom if we zoom in you may say we have a uh, uh, the layer added with all the lines so may we may want to set the stroke width to one it's lighter the color is quite okay maybe a little darker okay now we have the contour but we want to highlight steps so let's open contour let's put the rule based um, styling click apply everything is okay this is the rule for all lines let's put a new rule for highlight and add the filter to the LF field and we want to have an highlight every uh, bold line every 200 meter so if given we have used a step of 50 meters here every four lines we get an alight one 
and to do this we use a lab um, the, um, the reminder of this operation well, the division will be zero if the elevation is uh, um, a 200 meter step okay let's put a color to this let's say a, a green a dark gray it's okay and let's use 0.2 like the size of the the width of the stroke as you can see we got it correctly but if we zoom out we see too much noise so let's add the scale range for the highlighted i'll say we may start to one one hundred thousand um as maximum and as minimum and maximum i'll say one to ten okay so if we zoom out we will see uh, the a rule comes deactivated uh, is deactivated the other one so the all lines i say we may show them to the 10,000 to 10 so okay now we have no um this is obviously uh, scaled in meters as I am using a, a, a read which is based on meters if I, zoom, if I zoom in I get the highlighted contours if I zoom in a lot oh maybe we want to 20,000 here okay okay now it works another thing we can do is to add a label and a rule, rule base labeling it's okay so let's click plus to add a label to add the label you don't use symbology but you use labels and the description is let's put it high the filter is the same we want um, to have the the label only okay, let's call it only on the contours which are um, highlighted so let's select a level like the the label and the text maybe we want to eight like side the formatting is okay maybe we want to enable a mask and add the scale range which works actually exactly like the the contours mm, no let's make it make it to uh, a bit stricter so you have you don't have a lot of clutter on the screen so 50,000 to 10 it's okay let's click apply and as you can see we have the height of the contour here if we zoom out it actually disappear and that's a great result so let's see if we have not do what we wanted so uh, result this is our result and this is the reference coloring is a bit different different but actually we have done a nicer map so this is how to process a DTM to create a base map you can obviously tweak it to fit your needs and thank you for listening remember to subscribe to never miss an update and see you next